Our ride is here. Let's go into Asheville so we can give you a beer and food tour. I traditionally do not like sours at all. So if this is the most sour we've had across this whole flight, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. Very sour. Look at that heavenly goodness. Oh, that was very good. Just the treat we needed. And who says you can't have dessert before dinner? Last night, our first day of the food tour and brewery tour was super fun. It was really fun. It was probably more fun than we were ready for. Donuts! Mm. La, 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 la. We've actually been to Asheville a ton of times. This is where we got engaged at the Biltmore. There are so many amazing restaurants, breweries, and things to do here in Asheville. So we're giving you a food tour and a brewery tour for today for things that we're experiencing, but a lot of the places we're showing you are new for us. There's so many great places, so we suggest you look at our blog post that we have written below in the show more notes so that you can actually see all of our recommendations for Asheville and also come here to explore on your own. When you get here, ask a local what to do, where to eat, which brewery's the best. And if it seems like their style aligns with yours, take their word for it, because chances are it is one of the best places to visit. But Asheville has amazing food, amazing things to do, amazing drinks. Pretty much just get here, because it's awesome. made it to Burial Brewing, which is our first stop in Asheville, and this is setting the bar for the rest of our brewing experience. <laughs> the ambiance in here is super cool. The beers are amazing, at least from what I've tasted so, so that far. Was the... This is actually very surprising. It's a Fodor aged wheat lager, which I didn't even know if it would be a thing. <laughs> This was the most recommended brewery in all of Asheville. So far it's living up to it. They also have really good food. We got a meze platter coming out and we're very excited. I went with an Imperial Stout, which is incredible. Normally Imperial Stouts can be a little intense, but this one is perfect. That was the steady. This is the Yes. Yes to all of it. The pumpkin fritters are so good. They're super soft inside, crunchy on the outside, and they have this like creamy sauce, and it's salty and sweet and awesome. And then we have these beautiful toasts and this awesome hummus. And this is a lot for a meze platter, I feel like. We are trying to do little bites at every single place we go today, but this is a lot. It's a good start. It's a good start. was awesome. Now we're going to be heading to our second stop, which is a staple Wicked Weed Funkatorium. They are known for all of their sour ales. We've been there once before when they first opened and it was awesome. We're excited to try it again. Also, now we have a restaurant, which is supposed to be very good. We got the limited release flight here at the Funkatorium, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to disappoint. The watermelon basil, golden angel, neutral oak and apricot, artistry series number three, fennel pollen, angelica root, orange blossoms, dragon fruit, and wine barrels. I'm assuming it's supposed to be a play on a framboise, but it's called a frambru morte. Like, it puckers your mouth sour. Out of all the sours we've had today, this is the most sour. So, framboise is like raspberries exploding in your mouth. Sour, typically sweet, very like almost syrupy for the traditional framboise. This one is not so syrupy, but the raspberries explode in your mouth. It's very sour. Um, and it tastes boozier. 
This is what keeps us from being waste face Those on people. the channel. Those people. Water. Next stop is Green Man Brewing. There's been several other recommendations for breweries for us to go to that you have to drive to. They're either two to 10 miles away from the actual downtown city of Asheville. But if you just wanted to walk literally downtown, you could stop at dozens of breweries. So these are just the ones that we're walking to today, but check out any of them on your own. So we're headed to Green Man right now, and we've never been there, even though we've been to Asheville plenty of times. After that, we're gonna head over to I hope I'm saying it correctly, but Curate, which is a Spanish style tapas uh, restaurant that we have been trying to get reservations for the last two times we've been here and have been terribly unsuccessful. And we were, they have a like, check to see if a reservation gets canceled thing online. And for the last two days, we have been trying to get a reservation. We got one. So we're going there tonight. It's been the best rated restaurant in Asheville, several years running. We can't wait to eat there. And especially after all those beers, we're gonna need some food in our guts. Are we on here? We are not eating here. We've eaten here before and it is very good. This is like my lunch go-to. One of our other favorite restaurants here is called Limones and they do like um, Mexican, like Hispanic style food. It is so good. But they just opened up another shop next to them called In La Calle and it's supposed to be more Mexican street style food. It's a little bit cheaper, um, more casual and I've heard it's awesome. So I wanna go there and see what they have to eat to hold us over until we get to dinner. <laughs> Look at that heavenly goodness. I got a pumpkin cheesecake with hazelnut crust and chocolate sauce. Yes. But the hazelnut crust, it's grain free, gluten free. <laughs> and they use organic dairy. They seem to be very conscious here. They have honey and agave for toppings if it's not sweet enough for your liking, which I love that it's natural sugars. Anywho, I'm pumped. And it's technically before dinner. We've had snacks throughout the night, but we are very hungry. We've been waiting. So this is very needed. Dennis is getting a little hangry. Shinka Shane, follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram if you don't already. Oh, that was very good. Just the treat we needed. And who says you can't have dessert before dinner? Curate. Oh my god, so ready. We're not really supposed to have potatoes on our diet, but we're cheating. And patatas bravas is one of our favorite dishes from Spain. So let's see how this lives up to it. Oh yeah. Worth it? Okay. Mm. I think that's the winner. It's piquillo peppers stuffed with a Spanish goat cheese with uh, salsa verde, which this might be the best dish so far. This looks amazing. The salsa smells amazing. Uh, the beans are nice and crispy. We got some aioli over here. The pork is very nice. It like almost melts in your mouth. It's got a kind of crazy texture. Like the uh, the casing is crisp, but almost like rice paper like. The aioli is nice, and then the bean like smooths everything out. This is actually really good. This might be the second best of the peppers, I think. Yeah. Last night, our first day of the food tour and brewery tour was super fun. 
It was really fun. It was probably more fun than we were ready for. Because we could only get a reservation at Curate at 9.45, we ended up having dinner so late, we were like falling asleep at the table toward the end of it. We were really tired. Oh, yeah. So it was a long day, we slept well. We're gonna go show you a few more places today which we're excited about. We're going to Whole Donuts, which they actually grind their own flour to make their donuts. And they use really good ingredients that are local and then they fry them in rice oil and they have all different yummy flavors. And I'm so excited. I love that everything's made to order. They're literally making them as people come in. They hand form them from the dough that they make fresh right next to you. Then they hand glaze them and then top them in four different styles. They're so good. We went with the toasted cinnamon sesame, cranberry ginger, and traditional vanilla. They're so good, especially the toasted cinnamon with sesame seeds. It's perfectly salty and sweet. None of these are overly sweet where it kind of hurts. Sometimes donuts can be really intense, but these are perfect. And only $2, which is really affordable. Ooh, that was such a good treat. But now we are gonna go to New Belgian, which is one of the bigger breweries here in Asheville. There is also Sierra Nevada. Those are huge, massive operations. They do like tasting rooms and they have a full menu and they have uh, tours that you can take. There is a grilled cheese truck that we have heard is amazing. So we're gonna get down on some grilled cheese, have a pint at New Belgian. We're here. Belgium Brewing is most well known for like Fat Tire and then their Voodoo Ranger series of IPAs. Now we walked in there and I was completely overwhelmed because they had cask aged and floater aged sours and all kinds of stuff that you're not going to see in the store at least back in Florida. So it is definitely worth stopping in here even though you might think you've had their beers before. You definitely have it. I'm drinking a black lager and this is a really tasty beer. I honestly am impressed. You could definitely spend a few hours. Yeah, a couple of food trucks, we're getting a grilled cheese to get the liquid station and then the brewery is just up the way so you can get a tour and go into the brewery if you want. They actually don't take tips, but you can give them cash and they donate it to local nonprofits uh, and charities, which I thought was really rad. made it to the last stop of our Asheville trip as far as the beer tour is concerned. Beer and food. Beer and food. And I'm excited about this one. Uh, it's called White Labs and they do experimental grain pizzas and brews, so. And they have a full menu as well. They're supposed to have amazing kimchi french fries and um, actual main, like, main course dishes if you're not into pizza, but this came highly recommended. The menu looks great. Pictures online look awesome. So it should be a very tasty finish to our tour. Yeah. That's so good. Kimchi fries, pickled carrots, um, some house braised brisket on top. At least I'm having house braised brisket. Yum yum sauce. Yum yum sauce. They actually brine the French fries in lactobacillus, which is the same beneficial bacteria that you find in yogurt. Kimchi is fermented, so there's also probiotics in that. So not only are they amazingly delicious, but they're good for you as well. This past reporter is amazing. Ready for this? Mm. Hot. Mm. So good though. I don't know what kind of experimental, if the experimental yeast is supposed to make it taste any different, but really good pizza. So as usual, Asheville did not disappoint when it comes to going out on the town and eating and drinking around with the breweries and the awesome restaurants in this, this city. Is definitely a foodie and like 
beer destination that if you've never been, there's so much to do. There are vegan, vegetarian options. If you love meat, there's amazing barbecue. If you don't drink beer, do not worry. There's tons of other options, but it's definitely a place to visit. I hope we gave you some ideas of places you can eat. If you would like to see more recommendations, definitely check out our blog post. We have other places that we've been to in the past that are just as delicious, but we always like trying new things. So we went to new places this time. Yeah. Visit the same city. You got to try new stuff. Yeah. Have you to know? have a new experience. Now, with that said, though, there are staples like the Funkatorium that have, that have been here forever um, that we've revisited. But it's because whenever you're in a town like this or any brewery, uh, especially national brands, like Wicked Weed is now a national brand, mm -hmm. you have to try the stuff that they have seasonally on tap because you can't get it anywhere else but in the tap room. Yes. So. So we hope you enjoyed eating and seeing in Asheville with us. And until next time, we'll see you next week. The gold. Like the high was what, 45 today? Yeah. Tonight we'll get down in the 20s. Like and then we have another Arctic cold front coming through. It's going to be like 18 degrees, possible snow in three days. <laughs> What are you doing? Everything's swelling and itching. <laughs> My ears feel like they're five times larger than they are. I'm not drunky, but I, <laughs> but I am ready to party. And here is. <laughs> what is it? You tell me what it is. Beerish. <laughs>